a gear LED on Let's get it. Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Trey. And today we're gonna to be talking about the seven absolute necessities for your in-house tech space, slash office space, workspace, however you've designated. I'm gonna tell you guys how to take it up to the next level. So if that sounds good to you, which I hope it does, leave a like down below, subscribe, and hit the bell for post notifications. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so it's no secret that COVID in the last year has ravaged the entire world. And, you know, it's got us thinking about a lot of stuff. You know, among other things, one thing that I've learned for sure is that you need to be able to seamlessly transition anything from the external to the internal. In the case of today's video, we're gonna talk about how to seamlessly transition your outside work life to just a corner in your bedroom or in an entire home office, you know, if you got it like that. I don't know how you guys living. But the point is, there are some things that are vital to your tech space. So let's jump right into the first one. The very first thing on this list and undoubtedly one of the most important things is you need ample charging. I mean, as many charging cables as you can get your hand on, you need to just rack them up. In 2021, most devices, if not all, are transitioning to USB-C type charging cables. These are absolutely essential for your device's life. Think of it like the life of a child. That was a bit extreme. I don't know if I should have went there, but it is the most precious thing. You need charging cables to feed your device's life. And piggybacking off the charging cables, you need as many charging bricks as you can accumulate as well. Specifically fast charging bricks. So I consider myself a tech enthusiast. That's why I'm constantly on the prowl for things like this, a dual charging brick with fast charging capability. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite gadgets. It's so small, it's so sleek. You know, you wouldn't think much of it, but this here is a game changer. I'm telling you, invest in some charging cables and charging bricks, it'll change your life. Moving on to item number two on the list. And while ample charging is non-negotiable, you can take a little more liberties with this second one. Uh, I'm talking about audio device, headphones, earbuds, you know, whatever floats your boat. You need something that's gonna get you through your workflow. I can't tell you how much of a lifesaver these guys have been. These Bose speakers deliver me some of the smoothest, most steady bass. These headphones are so effective and one of the greatest gifts that I've gotten from my little brother, Caleb. And hey, when I put these on, I feel like I'm about to make the world's most fire album of all time. Like I'm telling you, these are a game changer. Invest in some good quality headphones, earbuds. All right, guys, we're moving on to item number three on the list, peripherals. Now, some of you may be thinking, Trey, what the are peripherals? And then another subset of you people may be thinking, Trey, peripherals are such an obvious necessity for computers that it, it's almost overkill to put it on the list. Well, to the first group of people, peripherals are essentially a set of input and output devices that enable your computer to actually run its function. This list includes things like a keyboard, a mouse, microphone, speakers, headphones, display monitors, webcams. Uh, if you're creative, then like those drawing pads, Essentially anything that enables you to input information into a computer or to receive information from a computer. And to the second group of people to whom I am Captain Obvious, look, I get it. Peripherals are a given. However, I still put them on the list because it's not only important to invest in high quality peripherals that help you get the job done efficiently, but two, it's very important to consider peripherals that fit both your ergonomic needs and if it your aesthetic. You know, you want to be working in your tech space with as much ease, comfort, and enjoyment as you can possibly get out of it. So peripherals are a big thing for me 
and they should be for you guys as well. And moving on to item number four on the list, we are talking about USB hubs. USB hubs are so important just because of the flexibility and the range they give you within your workflow. It could be innumerable USB drives. It could be a lot of wired peripherals. In my tech station, I'm currently using the Logitech G502 wired mouse, and I love it. From its dynamic and wide ranging RGB customizability to its countless programmable buttons that just make it a really good functional mouse. It helps me day in and day out get the job done. It has a great ergonomic feel to it as well. So I would highly recommend that mouse. But again, to reiterate the point, a USB hub can come in handy for those endless amounts of peripherals that you attach to the USB drives. A USB hub will allow you to basically expand your computer's input. Item number five, again, kind of like the peripherals. This one is so obvious, it's a given, but it's very important from a number of different aspects. I'm talking about your computer. Again, it's 2021. Everyone needs a computer in order to execute some type of job. The type of computer you have to get the job done makes a massive difference. It's immensely important that you balance the price point of your computer for the type of components that you're gonna get with this. So let's look at a couple of different examples to help illustrate the significance of these considerations. In the first example, let's take a traveling businesswoman who does a lot of document management and jumping in and out of meetings. Well, first and foremost, it's obvious that they need something that's mobile, something they can easily transport from one place to another and can just always be on the go. Then they've immediately narrowed their search down to some sort of laptop. And right here, I'm holding the Microsoft Surface Book 1. I can easily take this thing from place to place. It comes with an attachable magnetic stylus with a screen size of 13 and a half inches with a nice swift and quiet keyboard and this brushed metal finish. I'm telling you, this baby here is perfect and I've had this for a while now and it has not failed me yet. All right, in the second example, take someone who is either an avid gamer, a 3D modeler using high-end 3D modeling software, a music producer, essentially someone who is going to be employing a lot of heavy-duty, cumbersome software on their machine, then you're going to need something with a lot more kick to help you get the job done. So something like this here may not quite cut it unless you're willing to pay upwards of like three grand for one which is what the third generation of these babies go for. So if you're someone that falls in this category, I highly recommend building your own PC. And you may have noticed my machine behind me. I picked out all the pieces and the parts for that thing at Micro Center. I went through their online module and was able to find all the pieces that were compatible with one another, making the entire building process as easy and as intuitive as it possibly could be. Being someone in this category who uses some pretty heavy duty software, you're gonna have to really consider four components, the specs of your CPU, your GPU or your graphics, your RAM, and your SSD or your storage, which segues us right into our sixth item, which is, you guessed it, storage. I mentioned the two categories of computer users before. If you're the traveling businesswoman, then maybe a computer that tops off at about 128 gigs will be enough for you. There are also things like cloud services that you can use to tack on just a little bit more storage, and that should be more than enough to store all the documents that you need for your job. But in the case of the avid gamer or the music producer, 3D modeler, or photo, video editor, photographer, you're gonna need ample storage, not only to house all the content or the games that you're gonna be editing or playing, but also all the software that you're going to use to do those things. So then there are storage options like 256 gigs or 512 or a terabyte. I personally say go with a minimum of 512 gigs just to ensure you have a little wiggle room, but a terabyte would be ideal. All right, guys, we're moving on to our final item on the list. Number seven is going to be organization. The way you organize your space is to your discretion. It's totally up to you. But one thing that it should definitely do is ensure optimal comfort, ease with accessing whatever is in the space and suit your ergonomic and your aesthetic needs. I want a tech space that when I look at it, I go, 
Man, oh man, I can't wait to work up in that space. Just basically a space where you wouldn't mind sitting in for hours at a time doing whatever it is you love or get paid to do. All right, guys, I know I said seven things that are absolutely essential for your tech space, but I actually got a bonus for you guys. Check these out. Man, when I put these on, you may have thought this was a fashion video, but nah. These are actually still a tech essential because they're not only a pair of silver frames. These bad boys here are blue light blocking lenses. Sitting in front of your computer screen for hours on end could actually be of detriment to your eyes, especially if you do it in the dark for long periods of time because your display monitors actually give off what we call blue light rays, which in the long term could actually cause a lot of strain on your eyes and therefore diminish your vision. So securing a pair of these will actually be a really good health benefit. If you log on to jadeblack.co, you'll find an endless selection of frames ranging from sunglasses to prescription and blue light blocking glasses like the ones I have. And they only start at $44. That'll get you a nice pair of frames for free shipping. And on top of that, if you use my code TreyJAlexander, I'll have it linked down below. You actually get 10% off of your purchase. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys for checking it out. If you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like down below, subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. You can check me out on all my socials at TreyJAlexander. I'll have them linked down below. And that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.